She absolutely knew her bunch. His name is Raja Dove, and it's safe to say he has one of the sweetest jobs you can imagine. Known as the Professor of Perfumes, his internationally known nose can sniff out the best and worst fragrances in the world. Raja is employed by the famous perfume family known as Guerlain. He says when it comes to cheap perfume, just don't go there. It's not possible. It's like, uh, it's of course all of it is subjective, but I think it's a little bit like do you get pretty, very, very beautiful bottles of wine for three dollars? You can buy them, but would you want to drink them? So what's the secret to finding your personal scent? Only your nose knows. Raja put me to the test. Can you smell it? It's much yes. drier and very warm. Yes. Yes? Absolutely. If you now go back to the first, it will smell sweeter than it smelled the first time. Mm -hmm. Is that right or wrong? Yes. If you compare the fragrance you have here, it will smell slightly spicy when you compare it to this one, which will smell sweeter. Slightly fruity. Can you mm -hmm. smell that? Mm -hmm. So give me the one you don't like so well. Okay. Take this one. Okay. Do you see how it works? Yeah. After sniffing dozens of testers, I chose my favorite. This perfume is called Mitsuko. Mm -hmm. It was created in 1919. And may I say what a woman of very refined taste you are, because it's considered by perfumers to be the greatest perfume ever made. So that oh. can't be bad, can it? Well, thank uh. you. <laughs> the problem is my taste outweighs my wallet. So how does one apply perfume properly? Believe it or not, it's not where you think. The one place people put perfume where they never should is behind the ear. That's the biggest mistake going. And remember to spray from at least this distance. So here's to fine fragrances and appealing aromas on your sweet-smelling self. But you have this wonderful, wonderful freshness. And you find the flowers you love there.